English Tim here. Today I'm doing a video on the real costs of upgrading your gear in the forge. How do you work out whether it's best to use lots of orange pieces to get an orange piece of equipment or whether you should use lots of purple and just one orange? I'm going to answer those questions now. Alright, so this is my calculator. So what I've done is uh, I've made uh, a cost for each of the different items. So uh, we've worked out what the cost is and then we can work out the value of the item you're going to get. And you can type in here the odds of getting the different ones. So I can run lots of different simulations working out the cost and the expected return. So for example, I can choose the uh, equipment that you're going to be putting into your slot. I'll be using a piece of level 20 purple equipment. And then if I'm using three pieces of orange uh, orange materials and then two pieces of purple, then what's my expected return? So we've got the cost here and the value of the new equipment and the difference. Now, the big value for this is comparing two different options. So it might sound negative and that's bad, but actually negative doesn't really mean bad. Okay, so we're in the game now. This is the forge. So this is the setup that I've just been showing you in the calculator. So you can see at the bottom the 66.7 chance that you're going to be getting purple gear, 33.3% chance of getting the orange gear. Now, I say if you look at the orange gear, the benefits are you know, infantry attack 16% instead of 12.8%. So it is a much more effective piece of gear. And you've got other stats as well, which, uh, which are all higher. And uh, yep, so these are much more valuable. So we all want orange gear. So the question is, how's the most cost effective way of doing that? So yeah, if we switch this out for a piece of purple and, uh, and then we look again at these two different columns here, we've got 76.2% chance of the purple, 23.8% chance of the orange. So if I uh, switch that out, so this is the purple gear. So we'd need to change these figures here. 76.2, 23.8. So now you can see the difference here is uh, minus 483%, uh, minus 483. And previously it was minus 628. So minus 423 is much better than minus 628. And the other point to note is these costs here. How long is it going to take you to take this gamble as well? Time is a massive factor in this game. You'll need to get 5,875 pieces of white materials to take on this, this gamble. And then if you wanted to take on the, uh, the, the second gamble that, uh, that I've just shown you, which is a piece of purple gear, two pieces of orange, then you only need to get 4,875. So that's way, way fewer pieces. All right, so these are screenshots I've taken doing this process. So now we've got three pieces of orange, two pieces of purple, difference is minus 628. Two pieces of orange, three pieces of purple, we're talking minus 483. And finally, if you only had one piece of orange and four pieces of purple, minus 338 and this cost here 387 piece uh, 3875 pieces of white compared to 5875 we're talking nearly twice as many materials so it's going to take you a heck of a lot longer to try this gamble and you're talking a 33.3 percent chance of success versus 14.3 the differences are small but if you get that piece of orange gear quicker you can then use it sooner and you're more likely to do better with this gamble than the original gamble. What's the conclusion? If you're doing this level upgrade, I would always suggest only do one piece of orange, not, not any more than one piece of orange. The fewer the pieces, the better your chances. Of course, if you have no pieces of orange and this is a piece of purple gear, your chances are 0%. That's not a gamble worth taking, even though it's probably actually going to show a pretty good return. You'll end up with purple gear, and that's great if you're happy with purple gear. It's actually a brilliant first step before you go up to orange. So when should you go to orange? There's actually Heretic did a good video on when he thinks you should go to orange. So if you check that out, um, I will uh, work my way through the game for a bit longer before I make my own view on when you should start. But yeah, that lower level gear is uh, definitely more cost effective. You'll get it quicker, be able to use it faster, and then you should think about orange at a later date. 
So I am English Tim, thanks for watching this video. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get updated about my future videos. And I've got this uh, playlist here with my War and Awe videos, so if you check out my channel, hopefully you'll find something useful there. Also, if you are a new player and you've started after November 2021, the 29th, then I have a gift code you can use. If you go to your Lord profile at the top left, and then if you go to your exchanged GIF, then the code is English Tim with a capital E and a capital T, no space in the middle. Hopefully you'll get some good stuff. Thanks for watching today.